you laugh with me. But I'm sorry. Hi, kids. For today's book, we are going to read Oh, How I Wish I Could Read by John Gill, illustrated by Frank Fiorello. If you have this book, grab it and let's start reading. I awoke with a yell and sat straight up in bed, full of fear and wild worries and trouble and dread. Was it just a bad dream or was what I feared true? Was reading a feat only others could do? In my dream, I was walking alone on the street and decided to sit down and put up my feet. I discovered too late what the wet paint sign said when the bench left my backside a bright shade of red. Then I saw a cute puppy and wanted to pet it. A sign trying to warn me I'd better forget it. It said, beware of dogs. But the words on the gate meant nothing to me. Till a pack of wild dogs chased me right up a tree. I continued along on my reading last way, having no way to know what each time has to say. I wish I could read, cause then I could know when danger signs warned me where I shouldn't go. A sign said, no crossing, but I didn't hit it because in my dream, I had no way to read it. So I stepped off the sidewalk and oh, what a fuss. I was nearly run down by two cars and a bus. I heard honking and beeping, tires squealing and shrieking, cars crashing and smashing and scraping and scratching. The drivers were angry. One yelled all the greed. What's the matter with you? You should learn how to read. I jumped from the street and ran away fast, but worried about each sign that I passed. He doesn't know where to go because he doesn't know how to read. Oh, no! Above and beside and behind and below were instructions and warnings I needed to know. In my readingless dream, I felt angry and sad, as if I had lost a best friend and I had... I was lost and alone and afraid as could be of the reading list troubles is still waiting for me. I wondered and wondered what words I so meant. Then got stuck in a map near a sign wet cement. Oh no, got stuck. So I took off my shoes and sat down to clean them. Two signs blocked my way, but I sat down between them. They said poison ivy, but I didn't know. Till an itchy red rash grew all over one toe. When I headed for home to get medication, I went from a bad to a worse situation. I opened the cupboard to look for two ointment, but all that I found, there was more disappointment. Oh, he cannot read the label. Each bottle and tube on the shelf had the label I needed to read, but I wasn't able. I itch and I twitch. How I wish I could read. My toe was on fire from that poisonous weed. Just then I woke up 
from my readingless dream. When my cat nipped my toe and I let out, I screamed, Ouch! I threw back my covers and jumped to the floor. I ran to the shelf where my books were before. Could I tell a B from a T or a Z? Or were letters just lines on the paper to me? My book told the story, as the story books do. My dream was a nightmare completely untrue. I can read. At last it was over. At last I was freed from the night when I wish, how I wish I could read. The end. I hope that you guys like this story. And if you want to listen or watch for more story, tune in and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and listening. See you next time. For watching, don't forget to subscribe.